All right, y'all, this one's gonna be quick. Um, I'm not even wearing work clothes. It's cold outside and wintry. Miss the garage, man. I've, I've been uh, I've been studying for my MBA program, so I really haven't had time to get in the garage. I'm trying to get all my work done so that I can get my grades in advance so I can get reimbursement for my company for the MBA program. Lots of work to do that's not car stuff, which is sad, but I have been going to the gym and stuff, and that's good. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about was, so this car, as I mentioned before, is very ratchet, okay? We're, we're trying to clean it up, okay? You know, and now I have AEM, AEM on board as a sponsor. Um, I want to basically, I, I, I want to make a car that looks like it's a sponsored car, okay? I mean, I, I think that the Sharpie livery is cool. Car has tons of personality, but I need some help with body work. And so there's two options for me, okay? So why I'm in the garage right now is because I have a friend, uh, Rick Myers, who has another friend, thank you, Rick, for recommending me, um, who owns a body shop. And um, he said that he could potentially do the rear quarter panel on this Civic for cheap. Now, if you look at the quarter, okay, so this is dented, this is dented, and this is all from when I crashed my car in a qualifying session on a cold slash damp track at NJMP Lightning. Um, and so there's two options here, like I said. there's The first option, obviously, is to fix it myself with Bondo. So if the quote from the buy shop comes back too much, I will probably just take a dent puller and just slap hammer all these dents out. They're pretty bad down here. Um, it's hard to see on the camera. Um, and, uh, you know... If you look inside, I don't know if you can see, you can't really see, but yeah, I mean, we, the way we originally fixed, fixed this was, um, when I crashed the car, we got a basketball and a soccer ball and an air compressor. And we put it inside the, the back of the, behind the fender and we inflated it multiple times in different spots to push it out. I came back with a hammer on the inside and in the trunk and stuff and tried to hammer it out, but you can see it's still pretty wrinkly. Um, and the goal basically is to just kind of like Get this one color, okay? So it doesn't have to be fancy. Um, I've rusto painted a lot of the car. Um, like if you look at this fender over here, um, this was all rusto. So like, it it doesn't look bad. All right, the rusto is not cracking, and it's all in the prep work. This this fender came prepped. We damaged it installing it because it is an eBay fender, and we were massaging it to get it to fit after we painted it. Um, and then you know the 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 sharpie always cracks. So you know. This is paint marker Sharpie. It always cracks. So I want to do something where the car kind of looks like a race car. Like it looks cool. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. I want to do something cool. Um, but yeah, so I took off basically all the stickers. So, you know, unfortunately all the cool stickers came off, but also all the sponsor stickers came off. The AEM stickers came off. Hawk stickers came off. Toyo stickers came off. Wind Shadow Studios stickers came off. Any anybody who either you know I, I supports me some way officially or or not, they all came off. Even back here, you know, I used to have a bunch of funny stickers. You know, like a this one was like a Barnegat Lighthouse sticker. Um, I had a bunch of you know Dave Marino Auto Parts, DM Auto Parts, and all the stuff back here. That's all taken off. Um, and then the windows, these are probably going to get replaced with Lexan. I might just do Home Depot Lexan. Um, but so, you know, all these tracks that I've been to and stuff that's coming off all of the events that I've been to, that I've gone over to over the years, um, since this car was a street car all the way until now till it's been a race car. It's all coming off winter stickers coming off. It's all coming off all these. They might be coming off. It depends on if I can get a cheap enough carbon fiber hood. I would like to get as much weight off the front of the car and into the, the chassis as possible but we are working with what we are working with at this point. You know, the goal really is to just get this solid, get that solid, get it in there and get just something over there solid. Um, and then, you know, get it running. Um, it takes time, but yeah. Uh, so that's, that's it. Um, all the stickers are off and that's kind of where we're at. I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, I haven't had a chance to get in the garage, but um, body work is basically the theme of this vlog. So thanks for watching. Uh, like and comment and subscribe. Peace.